How's it going guys, Mr. Boss for the win here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys a full length tennis match that I was able to play in Grand Theft Auto 5. So, being able to play tennis in sports like this is a new addition to the Grand Theft Auto series, especially tennis. Uh, we haven't seen this before, and it's really cool because a lot of the same features and abilities and aspects of tennis play out into this game. You know, it's not some dumbed down arcade version. It's very fun. I had a great time playing this. For those of you who don't know, uh, I played high school and middle school varsity tennis and uh, still now at university. So this was really cool to see this ad addition in the game. You can choose how many sets you want, what difficulty you want. Normal was pretty easy, but if you've never played before, I would suggest starting on normal. You can choose between five sets, one game, one set, three sets, whatever you want. I decided to go with one set on normal difficulty. And there's a lot of things that, like I said, carry over from the real game of tennis you know you can angle your serve you can choose to uh you know serve towards the tee or serve towards the line uh, which took me a few points to figure out but once i got the hang of it it was fairly easy and there's just a lot of variety you can do here now as far as the few shots in the game they, they basically give you four shots which is very similar to tennis you know there's your basic shot you have top spin you have backspin you can do a lob or you can do a drop shot and all of that depends on you know what kind of position your opponent's in which isn't really any big deal because this was a really easy win many times she'll hit the ball out or she'll try to come to the net and uh, she'll either dive around or you know you can just hit the ball by her but your shots will vary in power and strength based on how how you know exercised your player is because playing tennis will allow your character in this case Michael to gain more stamina and gain more health as well so uh, and you can use this tennis ability to train him for other events like triathlons or mountain biking or whatever all of them basically carry over into one category so it's really cool so getting back to earlier, you can choose how you want to hit your shots by as long as you're holding down the button. So if you hold down the B button, which in this case is topspin for a long time, you're going to have a shot that has a lot of topspin. If you just lightly tap it, it's kind of going to be a lob just like that. And I was able to get it by her as she was diving. So um, this game's really fun. You know, I had a lot of fun playing this game. Like I said, for someone who's never picked up this game or never played tennis in real life, I'm sure you'll get a hang of it in like a few games, maybe like a point or two. But for anyone who's actually played tennis before, many Many of the same features, many, like I said, the same abilities carry over. It's the same rules. So once you understand that and once you understand, you know, how the game works, it's fairly easy from there. So anyways, guys, I'm going to let you guys watch the rest of this match if you are interested. A lot of the funniest moments come from the commentary between Michael and this other trainer over here. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Like I said, please leave a like, favorite, and subscribe. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video. My God, you're sad and desperate. I ain't washed up yet. Oh, I'm feeling good about this one. Shit. 
Jesus, mind my heart, please. This is a long rally. Wow, some rally. You really are desperate, aren't you? Do this thing. Still got the old magic. Look at that. Look at that! Well, at least I hope you learned something. I hope you're ready. See if the old man still got it. the bullet, baby! I ain't washed up yet.
Still got the old magic. 